the way on points. But if it's going to be a knockout, uh, it will be like um, as if it will be Chawuka's fight. Okay. Thank you very much to Nomeva and Don Guinea. Guys, look, you know, from my side, I like that Nomeva came and said what he had to say. Um, he says that, you know, Jackson is old, and he says that Sita is the up and coming. I've got to say, Jackson may be in the game for a while, but he hasn't shown what he's got, and he's got a lot left in the tank. I think tonight, we're going to see a very classy show from Jackson. Sita, good prospect. Let's see if he can handle what the veteran has to bring. Yeah, look, obviously, as we said before, there's a lot of needle. No, remember, I don't know if you heard what Jackson said. He said that, I can't repeat the words, but he said that the amateur system has produced rubbish like Sikhle Jalwana. What do you have to say about that? What did Chauke say? He said that the amateur system has produced rubbish like Sikhle Jalwana. What uh, if, if you remember, Jackson Chauke has been a, a matcher for many years. Uh, he got all the experience that he has in, for, from a matcher, but he never been a, a good champion in, in the professional. He can, he can set the facts. But uh, Sikhle Jalwana is a, is, a, is, a, is a very like good amateur. Uh, he has a good amateur career and then uh, he's still looking good at professional steam. He can be a champion. He's still at, or he's still at the time and everything by himself. So we're looking at a big fight. Um, uh, Chauke has to back up what he just said. Because if, if he cannot now today, it will be like uh, we were just uh, talking. Uh, I don't know what. But the fight, boxing wise, Sikhle Chalwana is going to take it. Let's see. Let's see. I like what Nuno ever said there. I like that he, you know, he, he brought in the Jackson's amateur experience. Like I said, he is a former Olympian. The fight started. But Ricky, look how much bigger Jackson is compared he is, to Sikhle. He's, he's he is the bigger fighter. And usually, think Jackson's a smaller fighter in the weight class. But today, Sikhle looks like he's a smaller man. But like uh, Nomeva said, he is a good boxer. He's very composed as a young man. And I like to see this from young fighters. Using a good jab. You can see Jackson, obviously, he's very calm. He's a former Olympian. Sikhle coming with that overhand right there. It's a dangerous shot that he... In fact, I've seen him stop uh, nearly signing with that same shot at Empress Palace. Sikhle jabbing to the... Jabbing to the uh, Jackson's gloves. Jackson waits and staying composed. Fainting, which I like to see. That's a veteran fighter move. And you see Jackson lights on his feet. What do you make of the fact that Jackson blew him a kiss at the, the Wayans? <laughs> you know, it's all it's all gamesmanship when it gets to that uh, when it gets to the Wayans and uh, pre-fight um, Hayden. And I think you know he, he he did what he needed to do to get into the young man's head, and the young man didn't take it. Jackson put his hand in front of him. Sikhle pushed his hand away and told him, I'm here to stay. And I like that. He showed grit. He showed that he's not here to play around. And, you know, boxing is boxing. It can go either way. So I'm not going to count Sikhle out. But, you know, we, we, we'll see how the fight plays out. And if I can say, um, Sikhle is, is still very young. has a lot to learn. He still has a long way to go. Um, he, he has everything in his side. Uh, Jackson Chawuki, he, he has to prove himself. He's yes. under pressure. He has to do everything right because everyone is favoring him. If he can, if he can hear the crowd, but the bo the problem is that he does he still have the steam. He has like many chances while he was while he started his amateur uh, career, his, his professional career, but he never used all of those chances until today. So today he's getting a big chance, but it was supposed to be like uh, uh, more than this today. Okay, so here's an interesting fight that was spoken about. Jackson said he's he, he's looking he's looked past Sikhle Jawana and he's looking at 24. Ooh. What are your thoughts on on a fight between Jackson Chawuke and 24? Uh, if you take about 24 and Jackson Chawuke, it will be a it will be it will be a murder fight. 24. Oh. Oh. oh! Jackson touches him to the body. What a shot the from Jackson! The young man goes down. A great body shot there from Jackson. Guys, I told you the Olympic experience, you know. It, it exceeds, it exceeds anything South Africans have seen today and maybe Jackson was right about Sikhle's amateur experience. Maybe he's seen better and maybe he knows what oh, he's Oh, he came Jackson in really quickly. Oh, it's a rest. Oh, it's a guillotine. <laughs> what is going on there? Is this an MMA fight now? It's a crazy fight. Let's see if the young man can stay composed and come. Has Jawana recovered already? Like great, has, what, a great body shot there again. See, I wouldn't count you out. see Chawuke has got great reach. He does, he does. Look at, wow. What a way to start the first round. Well, we know who that goes to. It's now a 10-8 round to yeah. Chawuke. This is the first round. We have 11 more to go. It's a 12 round fight. Yeah. Remember, yeah. right? Yeah. There's a lot of action. We have, still we to have 11 more rounds to go. Of course. So, yeah. 
for sure. And you know, as a veteran season pro knows that 12 rounds is no joke. And he knows that the late rounds is where it really counts. Um, you know what, what just happened now that uh, Sikhe Jaron was dropped. He can be, it, it can be, it can be an end of his fight, but it can be a motivation to his of next course. coming rounds. So it will depend on what is what is happening in his mind right now. Because remember, if uh, um, I, I once got a knockout like this in uh, in the fight when I was fighting Patrick Malinga, he, he dropped me in the first, very first round, and then I came back, I dropped him more than six times. So like uh, in a fight like this, when you're fighting for uh, a title fight and you are you are hungry and you, you are willing to win, yes. you you can change. Uh, we can change in, in, in the first round and then go straight, win all the rounds. So let's see how how much heart Sikle has here. He's got to make. He's the guy that's got to make the step up now. Let's see how it goes. Jackson. Jackson has been looking very good this fight. He started. He's starting a lot quicker out of the blocks than he usually does. See, Jackson usually takes a long time to get into it. He's got into this one straight away. Well, you know, Jackson is the veteran fighter. He's trying to come out and show the young man that you don't belong on the stage. He's trying to take it to him and see if he's composed. Mm. See, he has shown a bit of composure, so you know he is a bit hesitant to just rush him. But yes, he has started faster than usual. Jack Maybe a good fight, that's all I can tell you. It's a great fight. Let me, let me tell you, fight. ladies and gentlemen, there is bad blood here. These guys both want to win very badly. But anyway, Jaoke, you can see he oozes class. And this is what I like. Does, Former man. Olympic pedigree. Before. Exactly. Look at how he touches to the body again. He looks so composed and calm in there. It looks like he, you know, this is what he does. Breakfast, lunch and supper is boxing for Jackson. That jab, man. It's it's textbook, you know. Quick, back to the chin, defending himself, hands up, always giving CJ something to think about. CJ also has a sharp, nice, aggressive jab. But there, Jackson goes and catches him with his own. Yeah, Chauke has got ve jab. very good hand speed for his very for his age, you know. Yes, you know. You would think it's the pizza, but I mean the guys in the gym all the time. He's always fighting but, and sparring top guys. But here's the thing, Rick. What I'm getting from Damien is, yes, Chauke might be old, but he hasn't had exactly. like a lot of fights lately, so he's very fresh. Exactly. This is what I'm trying to say. He spent most of his amateur career touring the world seeing other places, um, representing our country. You know, he didn't have much time to rush into the pros. Now, he may be older, but you must remember he's a young man when it comes to ring age. He hasn't taken a lot of big punches. He moves around a lot. He can go a lot longer than what people, you know, would, 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 would state or, or, or think of him. And you can see it here. He's showing class, man. Yeah, look, Jalwan has found it very difficult. You know, he, he, he almost needs to put a flurry of punches together to actually get through Jackson. One punch I is not going to so. be enough. I think so. Because Jackson's think movements is... It, it, I think it, that's what's making him scared to go in because he doesn't know. And he's been counted a few times. There you go again with Jackson. Then both tying up, referee breaking it. Oh, there you Super go. Coming through with a nice jab. You know what I'm liking? Both guys are very compact at the moment. They uh, are. They are. It, <laughs> Jackson's looking for the counter, so is he there. <laughs> Both guys are a bit sensitive, but J Jackson's starting a lot faster than he usually does. And, I, you know, I like seeing that because yes. it's going to prepare him for fights. Like I asked him ever earlier, you know, yes. obviously, Nomeva just left the commentary box. But he, he's got a potential fight against 24 yes. lined up. 24 yes. is a great mover. He is. And Jackson he is. is also a great mover. So that makes for a good fight. I think that, I think that, basing on what I've seen so far, Jackson is a, of a higher level than what Sikla is bringing at the moment. I think so, you know. I mean, you know, it's the classic story of young man and exactly the bull that we, the main bull that we have tonight. Um, you know, with Emmanuel Kalambo versus um, Trongo, um, Kulelekum Trongo. I think the difference between that fight though is although Emmanuel might not have the the farts, uh, the, 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 the farts uh, behind him, I think that you know, he's experienced with his uh, range of sparring partners and, um, you know, mixing up in the gym regularly, you know, will, will be the difference. I don't know too much on CK's training, but, you know, as Nomeva said, he, he was a good amateur. He did come into the pros with the, with a good type of record. And, uh, you know, let's see if he can dig deep, you know, and, and, and turn this fight around. Something.
<laughs> okay. We're, we're into round number three now. Back to the action, guys. <laughs> round number three, Jackson. Ooh. Getting caught and then swapping with the big round hand and missing. Back down to the body. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to go further with that argument. <laughs> Oh gosh. Jackson again with the sharp jab. She's there being too complacent for me. Jackson, I think, has taken the first two rounds. Oh, it comes in with a nice surprise round uppercut and a straight left hand. See, jo see. Joanna's corner was very animated that round as well. I mean, the coach got in the corner there and he was he was very amped up. And, you know, Damon's more, more calm than that. Yes. So, yes, yes. so, so you, you could be ha perhaps seeing. It's also better for someone like Chaoke has been there, done that, to have a calming presence and it's going to not someone definitely. that's going to just block out orders. Definitely, definitely. I mean, he, as, you know, as fighters, we like to think that, you know, we are in there doing the job and we have coaches and people looking from the outside because you can't see everything and, you know, someone might see something different that can help you. But at the end of the day, you're the one throwing the punches, you're the one that has to take the punches and, uh, you know, I think, you know, Jackson likes Damon's calm approach because it allows him to be himself. Absolutely, no, I 100% agree with you. And I, I, I'm assuming, I know there's different characters in boxing, but I'm assuming the calm yes. approach is more, it sit, sits well with most boxers. Yes. Well, look at Jackson. I mean, he's fainting, he's moving, he's staying inside. Someone just spat their gum got out. I think that's coming from Sithe. Oh! Big overhand right comes from Jackson. Yeah, Joel, one is gum shield is out. Gum shield is out, you know, the ref's going to carry on until there's his points in breaking here. There, he broke the fight. Going to the corner to put it back in. Jackson's corner. You see, this is where, as well, I could fault the corner. They needed to put, they need two gum shields. Yes. You can't yes. water down that one and then put, yeah. you know, you of need to be prepared for that situation. Jackson's uh, uh, corner, you know, shouting out to him to start moving to the right hand side. I think moving away from Sikhe's big, um, you know, uh, left, left hand. Um, you know, um, let's see. Because he does change. Let's see what that what that brings to the fight. Does it create a different dynamic? So Jackson's, we see him. Look at the okay. So he missed that shot there, but you could see the intention was correct there. Definitely. Sikli is waiting for the big shots, and you know, typically from what we've seen tonight, the guy that's been waiting for the big shot hasn't hasn't necessarily had much success. Because you're coming in with a guy that has the pedigree. Not to say that he can't. Of course. Look at that fancy. Look at that movie. Look at Jackson trying to get to his man hurt. He looks confident coming to the corner and uh, you know I like what he's doing. Like you said, you know, since there he's been too complacent, too relaxed. You know, he's the guy that needs to prove a point. And I know they're both fighting for a vacant belt, which means you know no one owns the belt. Yeah. But you know, when you're in the country and everybody knows your status as two guys and the judges know your status, you need to show that you are here to win. Look, also, you gotta you gotta remember, Joan is a a fighter from the free states. Yes, 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 yes. So technically, he is the away fighter. He is the away fighter. He's in Karting now. Exactly. <laughs> He's in our house. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I know that, he, that they that they arrive late. Yes. You know, and Sikli was actually overweight. Was he? Yeah. He was overweight by 200 grams. It's yeah. not a much. Okay. But Damien made sure that they made the weight. 100. And Sikli is by far the smaller guy here. You can see it. You know. So it surprised me that he was overweight. So, you know, it, how was his training camp? We don't know. How yeah. is the organization in the camp that they're coming late to, they don't make press conferences and then they come late to weigh-ins? Like, it's unprofessional, especially when you're fighting for a title of this caliber. Jackson did everything right in camp. So did Damien and Anderson preparing him for this fight. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I, like I said, I don't want to sign bias or anything, but as the fight's going, it just looks like Jackson's, you know, having more and more his way as the as the fight goes on. Let's see how this next round unveils. Look, the closest round Sikli was had was the first round, but then yes. he got knocked down. Exactly. Which kind of, in effect, takes exactly. that away. Exactly. So, oh, some oh, some oh, heavy hands were looking. All those time. punches missed. Oh, but Jackson caught him there with a good right hand. So when Jackson lands these shots, nice they look very educated shots. They are, they are. He's worked on them, you know. He's he's obviously gone and gone. Oh! What a left hook! Jackson Chauke with a left hook! Big left hook! Jalwana using the ropes to get up there. Big left hook to the young man. What a left hook! I don't think he's recovered. Let's see if the ref lets him carry on. It's a title fight, so he should. But Jackson's probably gonna come out here and rush Jackson him. Jackson is gonna rush him. Yep. Let's see. 
He faints him. He moves. Jackson has dropped him twice. Much like how Jackson predicted in his fight preview that he would yes. just wear down the young Jawana. Of course. He told you, he said that he wasn't in his class. And he's showing it here tonight. I would like Jackson to stay calm, stay controlled, wait for the next opportunity. Because see, there looks like he's recovered and maybe, you know, could still be very dangerous. He could be, but that was an absolute key. peach left the jab again. Right he's hand. turned his back. He's back and that's the third. That's all over. It's over. And Jackson Chauke is your WBF champion. Last middleweight intercontinental WBF champion, Jackson Chauke. We love it, man. He's out here. People are coming to the ring to say, you know, to, to show him grace. And then he came out here. He said he was going to do it. He did what he said. That's what you want to see from someone. Doing what they say and, you know, putting on a great performance. How no meva end on Gen, he got this totally wrong. I'd like to call him back here and hear what he has to say now. <laughs> Look, Jackson is pedigree. We said it before. And he's coming now. Come back. No meva, what have you got to say? You guys are right, but remember I said to you, uh, Chauke can knock this guy out, sure, or sure, uh, the guy can 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 box him until the last round. We all we all saw that uh, CK Jolana has boxing in him, but no, but there was no okay. Heart. So here's and a question I gotta ask you: Jolana turned his back. Why? He had enough. That's it. Yeah, what do you, do you believe a boxer should quit? Uh, you know, sometimes if you are in a fight where you see that uh, there's no point for yeah. you to take too much punishment, and you know that. You might lose a fight badly in the later rounds. Sure. You might as well uh, spare yourself for the other fight. I get that, but is that, not your, corner, very, is that uh, not your corner's responsibility? Uh, no, 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 no. A boxer, when he turns his back, the corner doesn't have anything to do with that because the boxer is feeling the, the what is happening in the ring and then uh, it's, it's in his right to, 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 to try and quit the fight. The referee is the one who can do anything. So, but but, but the, also the referee, if the boxer turns his back, he has no choice but to stop the fight. Real quickly. Now, does that change your opinion of Jackson Chawuke versus 24? Ah, uh, Jackson Chawuke versus 24, I can tell you now, it can, still can be a good fight, but 24, I think, is a very big puncher, and uh, he's been like, the guys, all, the, the guys were, were, calling them, were calling each other uh, for, for a long time sure, last year, sure. so it should be a big fight, and uh, uh, I will see the same. Jackson Chauke will still have to prove himself because these are young stars. Jackson Chauke has been in the game for a long time. Oh. Jackson Chauke still needs to prove himself to, to all of us that he can still go somewhere in boxing because he had all the chances, all the chances maybe, maybe uh, five years back to, to, to be a champion but because he had a good record as an amateur so we all thought maybe by now he'd be a WBC champion or maybe a WBA something, something good but, but, but still, he's it's, it's still getting there. So if, can he go? Is it, is, it, is, it, is it too late or he still has time? He has to prove himself when he meets 24 and other guys. They are still young. 24 is hungry. Sikhe Cholana, I thought he was hungry, but he had enough in this fight. So it was a good, good fight for, for Jackson Chawuke. We're wishing him all the best when he gets to the next fight. Thank you very much. That was the thoughts of Nomeva in Don Gheni. Nomeva? I'm going to ask you a question. I'll ask you a question after this. Should I give the results? Ladies and gentlemen, we're just about to hear the results. And referee Ben Napai from East London says he has seen enough and stopped this contest. In round number four, the official time of the stoppage, 1 minute 47 seconds. And for your winner, 1 minute and 47 TKO seconds by TKO. From a uh, rapturous applause for Mr. Jackson Chauke with this devastating W. Jackson a great display of boxing from Jackson Chauke today. And he was most definitely unstoppable like the presenter just said. Again, unstoppable.